Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I've only had a small taste of Vardruna and Einar Selvig, and that taste was a delectable feast of audio goodness. I just really want to enjoy some more. So today we're going to check out a song that Vardruna released in 2020 amidst and despite the chaos of a world pandemic called Liefjaberg, or Healing Mountain. Let's get to it. He looks like he's getting ready to sing, um, but before he does that, I want to talk about this really cool intro, I want to say introduction of a beat. The way that we have a foley, uh, meaning the sort of sound effect of these footsteps and the way that that transitions into becoming the beat of the song is fascinating to me. Footsteps are one of the things that can be really difficult to actually record and reproduce in video games. It's one of those things that you have to test a bunch when you're sort of learning the ropes in video games. And a great footstep in a video game is like, mwah, remarkable. That's because footsteps make so many different kinds of sounds. You have that rolling of the heel to the toe. There's lots of different kinds of material that you can be stepping on. There's different weights of the person, different shoes they could be wearing as well. There's a lot of different aspects of a footstep. And this was really interesting to me because the camera angle gave you a sense at first that the footstep was in the water, but there was some mushing and some crunching in it that didn't quite sound that way. And so when the footstep uh, video came up where you saw this foot in, um, it was like, I want to say some mulch or some leaves and snow in the forest, then that really matched my ears a lot better. It caught them at first because I went, oh, that's not exactly the right sound, but it's close, definitely a footstep. And then it was fascinating to me to listen to that footstep as it evolved because I don't think they've just taken a couple of footsteps that were timed um, and made them so they were perfectly in the beat. I think that they've taken a very long series of footsteps and they haven't done a ton of production on them then where they cut them up and made sure that they were in the right spots. And this is because there's a lot of variation within the footsteps that we hear. It's also just a very organic way to introduce the beat. And I feel that Vardruna definitely has a way of bringing organic elements into their music. So anyhow, very, very cool. I think it's intriguing how well they've captured that footstep and then transitioned it to become the beat of the song. You hear those branches crinkling, you go, okay, it's not in the water. Where is it? Lots of variation in that sound. I'd be really curious if when doing this live if they have some sort of uh, instrument that they've created that mimics the sound of this as well. Uh, it's very um, 
crunchy, I guess is the way to put it, but it's just a really great sound. This is, uh, this is already incredible. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't know why, but it gives me chills already. I think maybe part of the reason why is the breathing in the background. And this is something that I've noted in other songs that I've heard by them as well. Um, and both, I should say, the Viking Suite and Helvagen, where they're making use of breath, especially in the Viking Suite. There's tons and tons of that. I love the way that they use breath as a vocalization that's also percussive and it has maybe a long tail, almost like almost like a, a cymbal that you, or a gong that you would hit. It's got this tail of sound. It's really, really cool. Um, beautifully mixed as well. And then his voice has so much, um, like there's a griminess that's down in the bottom. He, he sounds like he's really... Obviously, singing some low notes, there's kind of some creaking in the voice. Every now and then, I, I think I might hear a little bit of false folds that are in the action, too. Um, hard to tell, though. I want to go back and listen to it a little bit more. It's just such a beautiful motion that he does at the beginning. I like the way that it seems like um, he's encouraging a really full and expansive breath. <laughs> really interested in the sound he's making and I'm trying to figure out what parts of his vocal tract are fairly open and what parts are more closed. It doesn't sound to me like he has a lot of dome on the sound so it doesn't feel like his soft palate is really high or that the pharyngeal wall it doesn't feel like it's back very far it doesn't feel like there's a lot of space back here for the sound. Um, it feels like it's definitely when it when it follows the trajectory up it feels like it's going more towards the nose and like a fairly shallow area here. Uh, and then it's interesting because I hear some constriction in the throat, in the larynx area, but there's also an openness for it because it's just a, a fairly low note that he's singing in his range. So there's a couple spots there where I go, oh, I wonder where exactly that constriction is happening. Uh, very, very cool sound. Definitely folk sound. It's something my mind definitely says that is folk. I don't hear that very often in a lot of other genres of music. <laughs>
cold there. I just, I'm looking at him and also at, uh, when there was a uh, person in the water at one point, oh my gosh, I, I can't help but feel like, how, how are you doing that? It, that seems unbearably cold. And that brought me back to reading a little bit about how this song came into being. I know that uh, they'd had to postpone an album and despite that, they said, we're still going to release a song amidst the pandemic. Um, we want to talk about sort of struggling to still have victory through um, through times and trials. And this is called Healing Mountain, right? That's the translation they're singing in Norwegian. Um, translation is uh, Healing Mountain. The idea is both uh, metaphysical and a physical journey of crawling up a mountain or climbing it and how difficult that is and that it's also an emotional thing you have to go through. So there's a lot of background in this song of essentially the trajectory that one person must go through to overcome some sort of hardship. And uh, during the filming of this music video, apparently a bunch of snow dumped on them. And I'm just thinking, how hard is it to just play this drum, to wade in this water in this incredibly cold time of year? It was supposed to be summer, I think, and it was actually just snow dumping, as it does, I guess, in, in, in Norway sometimes. So anyhow, I wonder how they, they felt recording this, because it looks really, really cold. I think that's the first time I heard him add a harmony on top there of himself. Let me correct. Um, there are harmonies that have been happening, some in the background, but they're definitely backing. Um, this one sounds like a much more forward harmony that's meant to have a lot more focus on it. Part of the appeal of their sound is the way that the instruments sound so organic. They've used a lot of natural materials to construct uh, organic instruments, really coming back to old Norwegian customs. It's fantastic. That's I feel like because they have a sound that just is so original and um, homegrown, it's the perfect kind of sound to feature in Vikings or in really awesome video games. Uh, additionally, he's almost exclusively singing three notes over and over. It's got this chanting feel to it, but even though I don't understand Norwegian, I can tell that there's so much expression and energy put into all the words. So you get this, you get a message that has angst and growth in it. You don't need to understand another language to understand the emotion behind it. That's why it's possible to enjoy and be deeply moved by music in all kinds of languages. And I just love that I can feel his emotion uh, in just three pitches as well. <sighs> Such a beautiful camera shift. 
to the percussion and how that percussion again has that organic sound to it I really love that um wow yeah it, it doesn't feel like you have lots of electronic elements and layers instead there's just so many instruments that you can hear um, unique tones in the different kinds of percussive instruments oh beautiful <laughs> Again, I, I'm getting those shivers in this build. It's just, it, it feels like it is overcoming something. I, I love the feeling behind this. Um, there's a drive, that relentless beat carrying on and on, adding layers of the percussion. It's growing. We're getting layers of the harmonies as well. I, Lindy Fay, of course, is uh, in here as well. Um, doing some of those higher female harmonies. I loved that we got his voice up a little bit more, but the way that they're continuing to have this same repetitive pattern, uh, it gives me this almost anxiety in building at the same time as an eagerness uh, just for it to expand outwards more and more. Right now we're getting lots uh, more volume and, and layers and, and different things, but I feel like I'm really excited where this is gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna listen to where it goes. Oh, this is such amazing footage. The video is beautiful. <laughs> Wow, that's really, um, that, that takes your breath away. I love this break and exactly as I'd hoped, it's expanded outwards and all of these different vocal layers are gorgeous and there's a weaving between them as well. Again, beautiful mixing of all of this. I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this section. It's gorgeous. <laughs> definitely have uh, their voices crossing so at times she's singing lower and he's singing higher and when he sings higher there's something so visceral and pure um, and calling in his sound that draws me to it. I just love the way that I hear uh, in almost like in different places their voices are I feel like they're floating in um, oh, wow. And I love the way you have lines in there that are moving fast and ones that are sustained. The layers in here, they feel almost like you're caught within a snowstorm, right? Just they're swirling around. <laughs>
to the way they've dropped other things out of the texture as well so that we can experience this swirling vocal moment more. We had a lot of lows that were in there. Um, it sounds like maybe some sort of bass drum as well that was taken out. We still have a few, there's a stringed instrument of some sort that I hear going on with the vocals, but it's in the same range as they are. Up until this moment, I think that that bass drum had been going very consistently and now it was just used as an accent piece. Totally dropped there. Oh, there was also a bass stringed instrument or something that was sustaining some bass pitch as well that was dropped as well. Right, that low sustain is about to go away. something that feels like spiritually satisfying about listening to this. I really feel like my soul just soaring and experiencing it almost, it feels like an almost out of body experience. It's beautiful. Hill stands for eternity, a comfort to sick and the sore. I think Healing Mountain, that probably is uh, the name of the song I'm guessing. Um, I That line, perfect timing, especially if you think back to middle of 2020 and how everything was just in shambles and sad. <laughs> Healing Hill stands for eternity, it comforts the sick and the sore. Beautiful, beautiful words for an extremely trying time. Wow, I'm so glad that they, they released this. That drum is incredible. I think this is a bass drum that we've been hearing all along too. some really interesting production in there. I loved having that shot of the person swimming back up to the surface there. And of course we had the, the shot of them falling down at one point as well. This song, I feel like this song is more about a huge swell of sound rather than um, like a chorus and verses instead of having something where your body sort of gets a jolt of happy hormones because you recognize the chorus when it comes back. Instead, we have a swell that makes our hearts beat faster with it, makes you sort of open up as the song continues on. This is beautiful. It's very meditative in nature, and I feel that it's a great 
great song to have released within the middle of a pandemic. Let's go back a little bit. Wow, that snow is pouring. Amazing job, team. Wow. What a beautiful experience. This wasn't just music. This was entire immersion into a journey that I feel like each person is going to experience differently depending on what's happening in their life. This was just gorgeously written, perfectly timed. I love seeing the poetry and the lyrics as they went past and feeling the build and the release in the music. Gorgeous. It definitely reminds me of Heilung. And so if you would like to hear some more analysis of music like this, including Varduna and Aino Selvik and some Heilung, check out this playlist over here. And may you fall more in love with music every day.